Hey guys, good morning from my backyard. Hey listen, today we're going to do a review on my uh, tracker. Now I bought this at Bass Pro Shop back in August 2023. It is now October 2024, so I've had it exactly 14 months. So, time to do a uh, review on it. I'll tell you right from the start, I love this thing. My son and I use it all the time. We use it for exploring, we use it for hunting, and uh, really, really do like it a lot. But, there was one thing I hate about it, and we'll go over that here shortly, but in the meantime, let's, uh, let's just uh, take a close look at this. I do want to mention, I, I just hose this off so everything's still kind of wet. All right, so this is actually the 800 SXLE. This has a uh, steel bumper, and it has a 4500 worn wench. Very nice. It has aluminum wheels with 27 inch tires on the front and back, and 13 inches of ground clearance. Now I got the upgraded package that includes a, a windshield, uh, a roof, a mirror and uh, a back window. Now I don't have the front window in only because it's still too hot outside. Let's walk around this and just kind of uh, take a look at it. And this does have the uh, camel pattern which did cost extra. Has a 10 gallon fuel tank and it weighs just under 1600 pounds. The seats are very comfortable. They sit three people and uh, of course they have seat belts. Now I did install this gun rack and I also bought this at Bass Pro Shop. And it's a good gun rack. I like it a lot but it's a little difficult to install. And we'll talk about installing this gun rack here later in the video. And I want to mention this has a tilt steering wheel and it has a four-wheel drive switch it has a rear differential lock and headlights high beam low beam mission switch uh, the button right in the middle that is for the worn winch and here's a 12 volt outlet i also installed a horn on this and another 12 volt outlet right here it does have a digital display and this light here will come on if you're not wearing your seatbelt. And you can also change the uh, display, but I like this setup here showing the, the miles per hour, the time, and the fuel gauge. Now the, uh, the backrest here, you can actually unclip it here and fold it down, and there's quite a bit of storage behind it. And you can remove this seat here if you want a little extra room, maybe for a large ice chest or something. And the middle seat also comes out. And you can store both of these seats behind the uh, backrest. And here's the metal support I added for my uh, rifle rack. Nice and uh, sturdy. Hey, I know some of you are going to ask me about this gun rack, and it looks like an easy installation, but really it was a pain in the butt. Um, for one thing, there's a, a plastic protective cover underneath the tracker. You have to take that off. And then when you get access to this, it's not flat on the bottom, and you have the drive line coming right down through the middle here. So you can't just, and you do want to support this from underneath, but you can't just put a piece of flat metal underneath for support because of that drive line. So what I did was, and I'll use this piece of wood as an example, I used flat bar on both sides. Again, underneath, just to support the base here. So I got these bars on both sides, just like that. So that should help if you decide to uh, install one of these. And it does have a glove box. And here's a safety strap for the winch. And it does have cup holders on both sides. And we use these every time we take this tracker out. All right, the tilt bed. It has handles on both sides. So just lift it up and bam, 
she pops right open. Now the bed measures 40 inches by 54 inches and it's 11 and a half inches deep and the bed capacity is 1,000 pounds. If I take this panel off, right here in the middle is the air filter and the battery and you also have easy access to the one belt and the alternator if you need it. Here's the dipstick. Now the oil filter is way down here and it's you can't get to it from this angle. You have to pull out this metal seat and behind that is a uh, little plate here you just pull out a, an access panel and then if you have a uh, a oil filter wrench on a long extension with a ratchet you can get to the uh, filter. You can't see it here but it's it's down there trust me. Alright let's take a look at the engine. This is a four-stroke 812 cc three-cylinder 50 horsepower gas engine. Here's the three coils. It has electronic fuel ignition and I'll tell you what I really like this engine it, it runs very smooth and I've actually had this up to 50 miles per hour believe it or not you know the engine starts up real easy because it is fuel injected let's walk around here real quick you know it's very quiet I really do like this three-cylinder engine Now you can lower this bed with one hand, but it's easier with two, but we'll just use one here. Uh, this storage box, I took this off of my old ATV and mounted it back here. It's just uh, if I want to carry uh, equipment that I don't want to get all dusty. And got the muffler. This comes with a two inch uh, receiver. The towing capacity is 2,000 pounds. Let me show you what really irritates me about this. Now, look at this crack in the plastic where the uh, tailgate latches. You know, that's, that's pretty bad. I, I'm not sure how I'm going to fix that, but I didn't want to try and fix it before I put it on video. But it's not going to come out, I think, because that center bolt goes in pretty far. But yeah, that's uh, pretty irritating. Now, let's pop this tailgate open. Now this tailgate is pretty heavy. But if you look right here, it's cracked. And on the opposite side in the same spot, it's also cracked. But wait, there's more. Alright, I'm going to put the tailgate up and you can see it's cracked right here right here and if we go to the other side um, let me see here let me let me see if I can get some light on this all right there we go yeah there's a crack and there's another one so uh, really really disappointed in that and I do want to mention this does not sit out in the sun all day it actually sits under a uh, covered canopy so I, I really don't think it is sun related or heat related last thing I want to mention when you lift up the bed make sure you don't grab the handle like this or you will get pinched just pop it open just like this and you won't have a problem don't ask me how I know all right I do want to mention this does have electronic power steering but anyways my final thoughts um, really do like this I'm glad I bought it I hope uh, tracker improves their plastic bed someday but I'm not gonna hold my breath but there you go guys um, little review of my uh, 800 SX LE tracker so let's uh, watch a few short videos and uh, we'll see you guys next time